of uniform distribution is giving us 1 over b minus a then we have is 0 otherwise whereby the interval of x we have x greater than or equal to a less than or equal to b then we have otherwise so this is a probability density function of a uniform distribution the mean we have it as e of x equals to b plus a divided by 2 and the variance as b minus a raised to power 2 divided by 12 so this is the variance of uniform distribution and we have the moment during the function of exponential bt minus exponential at derived by t into bracket b minus a this is the moment during the function of a uniform distribution so we will proven the mean the variance and also the moment generating function now we start with the mean so expected value of a uniform distribution and this will be giving us e of x integral b to a x multiplied by f of x the x whereby this f of x the x stand from the uniform distribution probability density function of uniform distribution and the uniform distribution is uh, one of the continuous uh, variable so here now we put the real value of this f of x and we're going to have integral b to a x multiplied by 1 over b minus a dx so we have this now this is x multiplied by 1 over b minus a whereby f of x is now equal to 1 over b minus a dx so this 1 over b minus a is a constant and therefore we need to bring it out here to bring out the back of this uh, integration and we have that 1 over b minus a integral b to a into bracket x dx so we are integrating with respect to x and the only variable we are integrating now is this x so by the time we integrate this by the time we integrate x we are going to have x raised to power 2 the x you should not forget that we still have our constant here the constant remain and that will be 1 over b minus a into brackets then we have 1 over 2 multiplied by x raised to power 2 then we have our interval b to a so the integration of this x is now 1 over 2 multiplied by x raised to power 2 then we have our limit here the upper limit which is the b and the lower limit which is a so we we'll substitute this uh, limit into d for x then before we do that this one over over two we can actually bring it here so that it will look easier and we're going to have this we have one over two into bracket b minus a multiply by x raised to power 2 then we have our interval b to a now from this point now we are going to substitute this upper limit for x minus the lower limit for x and we should not forget that this raised to power 2 and therefore this the whole this will give us b raised to power 2 minus a raised to power 2 now this is what we mean by that we say b square minus a square divided by 2 into bracket a b minus a now this b square minus a square here is a difference of 2 square so we can expand it this way and we're going to have equals to b minus a into b plus a divided by 2 into bracket b minus a so now this b minus a we eliminate this b minus a and what will remain here now is uh, b plus a divided by 2 and that is our expected value of uniform distribution 
b plus a divided by 2. So this is the mean of a uniform distribution. Now we need the variance. For us to get the variance, we need to apply this. I say the variance of a uniform distribution is given as this. We have variance of x into bracket expected square value of x minus expected value of x or is a power of 2. Now, this value that we we'll get here as the mean of x is all we know as e of x. Then we are not going to square it finally. But before we do that, we need to get this our e of x to the power 2. And for us to get e of x to the power 2, let me say this. We need to get the value of that e of x to the power of 2. That is and for e of x is the power of 2. Now we are going to do this just the way we did the mean and if you not forget we say there is actually is going supposed to be integral x raised to the power 2 multiplied by f of x dx of x dx will give us this uh, e of x square here now let's see what we have we said e of x square equals to integral b runs to a then we have x raised to the power 2 multiplied by f of x and we should not forget the f of x which is a uniform distribution f of x which is a uniform distribution so f of x equals to 1 over b minus a so that is what we are going to put in place of this f of x now instead of having f of x we put the normal distribution there and we say this is equals to e of x to the power 2 then integral b minus for a x to the power 2 multiply by 1 over b minus a so we've done that the x so you can see this is our uniform distribution here the probability density function uniform distribution so what will happen next uh we should not forget that one over b minus a will come out because it's a constant then we integrate x raised to the power 2 and if we integrate x raised to the power 2 this will give us x raised to the power 3 divided by 3 and we also have our limit which is a b to a so that will lead us to what we have here so 1 over b minus a multiply by bracket open 1 over 3 multiply by x raised to the power 3 then we have our limit b to a now this 1 over 3 here we can actually bring it to the back here so that it will be easier for us to substitute this limit here and that will give us 1 over 3 into bracket b minus a into by x raised to the power 3 that have our limit b to a now we substitute the upper limit for x here minus the lower limit for x here and that is what we are going to have next so we substitute this upper limit b for x minus the lower limit for x we're going to have b raised to power 3 minus a raised to power 3 then with this a constant outside here we have a 1 b raised to power 3 minus a raised to power 3 divided by 3 into bracket b minus a now this b raised to power 3 minus a raised to power 3 is what we're going to open next and if we open this we're going to have this say uh, b minus a into bracket b raised to power 2 plus a b now plus a raised to power 2 bracket close divided by our denominator 3 into bracket b minus a bracket close now definitely this um, b raised to power 3 minus a raised to power 3 give us this expansion here which is b minus a into bracket b square plus a b plus a square that is the expansion of this b cube minus a raised to the power 3. Now if you do this now, 
this uh, b raised to power b minus a will cancel this b minus a here so we're going to be left with e of x square equals to b raised to power 2 plus a b plus a raised to power 2 bracket close now divided by 3 this is our expected value of x square so all we need now is to substitute our value of e of x that we've gotten earlier saying e of x equals to b minus a divided by 2 b minus a divided by 2 so by the time we square the whole of these then we're going to have this one too or raise the power of 2 so here now we have a um, variance of x which is going to be b raised to the power 2 plus a b plus a raised to the power 2 divided by 3 now divided by 3 now we shouldn't forget that our variance is equals to expected value of x square yes minus expected value of x then we have everything raised to the power of 2 expected value of x raised to the power 2 is what we have here now expected value of x square is what we have here so by the time we now substitute this value here and this value here into this variance that we have here that result to what we have in this place now what we need to do next now is to open this b plus a divided by 2 r is the power of 2 we need to open this bracket here and that will give us b square plus a b plus a raised to the power 2 divided by 3 yes minus b raised to the power 2 plus 2 a b plus a raised to the power 2 divided by 4 now in this case now we have a uh, 2 fraction and the LCM here is a uh, 12 so we have a uh, 3 multiplied by 4 and our LCM is 12. Now, square minus 3a is equal to 2 over a is equal to 2. And now we need us to have the same thing. So, variance of a is equal to b minus a is equal to 2 divided by uh, 12. So that's what we are going to have. So from that point, We've gotten the variance of a uniform distribution. Now, remainder is the moment generated function. So, moment generated function of a uniform distribution. Imagine the function of an uniform distribution, and this will be given as um, m subscript x of t equals to integral b minus 2a exponential t x multiplied by f of x the x and our f of x the x is a uh, 1 over b minus a. So this f of x now not to put the real density function there. And that will give us m subscript x of t equals to exponential raised to power t x divided by b minus a. Now, if you take this b minus a to the back as a constant and we integrate exponential t x, we're going to have an exponential. If we integrate that, we're going to have an exponential raised to the power tx divided by t then we have our interval which is a b a and what do we have next? we have mx 
sensorized of t equals to 1 over b minus a into bracket exponential raised to the power tx divided by t then we have our interval so all we need to do now is to substitute the upper limit of this interval into exponential t so we're going to have an exponential tb minus when we substitute the lower interval which is exponential ta so we have uh, everything divided by t and that will give us 1 over b minus a into bracket exponential raised to power bt over t minus exponential raised to power bt at divided by t now if we use if you multiply the numerator by one we're going to have exponential bt minus 80 now the denominator is t which is a common value if you multiply this t by this now we're going to have this you see m sorry, of t equals to 1 over b minus a exponential bt minus exponential a t divided by t into bracket b minus a so this is the moment unity function of a uniform distribution